Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to add an Ajax card drawer to our Shopify 2.0 or latest. An Ajax card drawer updates the card without browser refresh. So this is what we're adding here. I used the ride on a new ride team from Shopify. It's a free team. The ride team has this new feature that you can add an add to cart button to your collections section. Whenever you click an add to cart button to any part of your store, the cart door should slide. So when we click the add to cart in here, this sliding cart drawer should appear. I have already have several products in this cart and you can also see a recommendation. And then also you can have this sliders and you can decrease the amount of the product and it should um, reflect in here on the subtotal. And the same when you add and you can also delete. And when you delete all of them, it should show the empty cart. You can also do it from the product page. So when they add to cart in here, it should slide. The thing that I have to handle also is what will happen if the visitor or the, your customer will go to the cart page. So what I did on that is you have an option to redirect them to the home page or just open up this uh, sliding cart. So what I mean is when you uh, when they click checkout, you know the checkout template is not that we can edit. I don't have any way of editing this. So the return to cart usually calls the cart, which is the um, main cart um, item that liquid in Dawn team. But when we click this one, we have an option to open the cart whenever they get into this URL cart. When you click outside, it should close the cart. So open and then click outside, it will close it. So right here in our shopping bag, we have one item. So when we add, you know, make it two, when we close, we could also close it with this close button right here. It should be two in here. So everything should be updated. And for the recommendation, um, it only works if we add some item in a cart or um, updates our cart. So sometimes it can be off because I'm, I'm calling the recommendation based on the first product ID in the cart. We can go to our Tim editor um, where you can edit the cart drawer. I have it in here as a cart drawer on the very, very top above the announcement bar. You have an option to show a vendor, um, enable cart note. So right now I disable the cart note. So when you enable the cart note, it should show the cart note right here. You can change the background as what I said. And you can also change the heading for the um, recommendation. So instead of recommendation, you can say you may also like and um, you can also have a maximum of product to show here on your recommendation i would suggest to only have 10 because you don't want the user your customers just browse on this side right here but also browse on your website so this works with from the very first version of dawn to the latest version that includes the ride and you know the graph. If you do have a 2.5 version, I would check this one so the card would work. And you can also change the image ratio from you know adapt to image, portrait, or square in here. And uh, also the show product rating should work. So this one works with the ride team, as you can see. And I have um, included a demo store in my um, blog. So you can visit that and you could play on how it works and try it. And to start, we have to go to our Shopify store. So in here, I just installed the 2.5 um, version of Dawn. So we're going to work on that. So you go to online store, teams, and then go to click actions on the team that you want to edit. But I would suggest you duplicate your team prior to editing. And then edit code. 
and I'm just gonna expand my window. We're gonna look for the section folder. So section folder, and we're gonna add a new section and make sure you copy the name. It would be cart dash drawer. So create a section and we're gonna go to our website and copy this code right here. And we're gonna delete this code and control V to paste and then control A to highlight and shift tab to uh, reformat. It's just reformatting makes uh, less error with all the spacing. So it, it, it's good if you can reformat it. And after that, you're gonna go to um, headers that liquid. So right here, click that, open that header that liquid and we're gonna look for um, I put it here, card that underscore URL. So control C to copy on that one. And then we're gonna control F in here and then paste that card underscore URL so we can see what we're looking for. And just click any of this one so it highlights the end part of the anchor tag. And you can just delete that and replace it with our code. So we're gonna um, copy this code right here and control v to paste and i'm just gonna fix this highlight it and then shift tab to um reformat it and then i'm just gonna move this one so it looks good then we're also gonna delete this cart notification in here the reason why i want it to be deleted is that i don't want the cart notification popping up whenever somebody adds a product in our cart so just delete that one so it doesn't render and then click save and make sure we click save on this one as well. Uh, I mean, our cart dash drawer that liquid. And then next, we're going to go to our asset folder and we're going to open our um, script files. So we're going to go all the way down and find our product form. So right here, click that product form and we're going to go to our website and then grab our product form that GS file right here. So click to copy. And then I'm just going to control A to highlight all of this and then control V to paste. And then I'm just going to highlight it again, control A and shift tab to reformat and then click save. Next, we have to replace the cart.gs file. So open that and then we're going to go to our website and then grab this code right here. So click to copy and control A to highlight in here and then control V to paste it in here. So shift tab to uh, reformat and we're almost done. The last thing that we're going to do is render this um, section in our team. So we're going to go to a layout folder, open the team that liquid, and we're going to look for the announcement bar. So in here, we're going to add our code. So before the announcement bar, we're going to say section and then we're going to call this card uh, dash drawer here. So card dash drawer, and then just put a percent on the end. And um, that's it. But for Retina to create an error, I would suggest you delete some of the sections that we don't use. So go to the section folder, and we're gonna delete the main card dash footer so click that and then make sure you have it in here, main dash cart footer, and then just click the delete file on the right and delete file. And the same thing with the um, main cart, uh, main dash cart that item. So open that and make sure you have this one um, showing up in here and then delete this file right here. Okay, and, and I believe that's it. So you just have to go to customize team And I have it on mobile, but let's see if it works on mobile. So when you open this, it should side right here. So everything should work. Let's go to our desktop um, view. So click on the card drawer right here on the left. So it will show the settings. So one thing that we're going to see an error is that this is a 2.5. So when we add... Um, when we add a product, so let's say add a product right here or add to cart, we're going to see this liquid error. So to fix that error, we have to go to cart drawer and check this box right here. So it would um, show the, the products. 
And when you click it again, so yes, right here, it, it should fix that error. And I believe that's it. Everything should work okay. The same as the, the ride team or newest uh, team and everything should update. And you know, you can change the background color, enable the card. And also it works good with mobile as well. So when you um, have mobile, so everything should work. Um, let me know if you have any question and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.